in differential geometry, a smooth Riemannian manifold or smooth Riemannian space M G is a real smooth manifold M equipped with an inner product G P on the tangent space T P M at each point P that varies smoothly from point to point in the sense that if X and Y are differentiable vector fields on M, then P G P X P Y P is a smooth function. The family GP of inner products is called a Riemannian metric or Riemannian metric tensor. These terms are named after the German mathematician Bernard Riemann. The study of Riemannian manifolds constitutes the subject called Riemannian geometry. A Riemannian metric tensor makes it possible to define several geometric notions on a Riemannian manifold, such as angle at an intersection, length of a curve, area of a surface and higher dimensional analogues volume, etc., extrinsic curvature of submanifolds, and intrinsic curvature of the manifold itself. Topic Introduction In 1828, Carl Friedrich Gauss proved his theorem a egregium, remarkable theorem in Latin, establishing an important property of surfaces. Informally, the theorem says that the curvature of a surface can be determined entirely by measuring distances along paths on the surface. That is, curvature does not depend on how the surface might be embedded in three-dimensional space. See Differential Geometry of Surfaces. Bernard Riemann extended Gauss's theory to higher dimensional spaces called manifolds in a way that also allows distances and angles to be measured and the notion of curvature to be defined, again in a way that was intrinsic to the manifold and not dependent upon its embedding in higher dimensional spaces. Albert Einstein used the theory of Riemannian manifolds, formerly pseudo-Riemannian manifolds, to develop his general theory of relativity. In particular, his equations for gravitation are constraints on the curvature of spacetime. Topic overview. The tangent bundle of a smooth manifold M assigns to each fixed point of M a vector space called the tangent space, and each tangent space can be equipped with an inner product. If such a collection of inner products on the tangent bundle of a manifold varies smoothly as one traverses the manifold, then concepts that were defined only pointwise at each tangent space can be extended to yield analogous notions over finite regions of the manifold. For example, a smooth curve α, 0, 1, m has tangent vector α, t0, in the tangent space trademark, α, t0, at any point t0 element of, 0, 1, and each such vector has length α, t0, where denotes the norm induced by the inner product on trademark, α, t0. The integral of these lengths gives the length of the curve alpha L alpha equals zero one alpha T D T Display style L alpha equals int underscore zero carrot one alpha T mathram D T smoothness of alpha T for T in zero one guarantees that the integral L alpha exists and the length of this curve is defined. 
in many instances, in order to pass from a linear algebraic concept to a differential geometric one, the smoothness requirement is very important. Every smooth submanifold of Rn with a Euclidean metric has an induced Riemannian metric G. The inner product on each tangent space is the restriction of the inner product on Rn. In fact, as follows from the Nash embedding theorem, all Riemannian manifolds can be realized this way. In particular one could define Riemannian manifold as a metric space which is isometric to a smooth submanifold of Rn with the induced intrinsic metric, where isometry here is meant in the sense of preserving the length of curves. This definition might theoretically not be flexible enough, but it is quite useful to build the first geometric intuitions in Riemannian geometry. Topic. Riemannian manifolds as metric spaces Usually a Riemannian manifold is defined as a smooth manifold with a smooth section of the positive definite quadratic forms on the tangent bundle. This definition allows the construction of an accompanying metric space, if gamma a b m is a continuously differentiable curve in the Riemannian manifold m, then we define its length l gamma in analogy with the example above by l gamma equals a b gamma t d T display style L gamma equals int underscore a carrot B gamma T mathram D T with this definition of length, every connected Riemannian manifold M becomes a metric space, and even a length metric space in a natural fashion, the distance d x, y between the points x and y of M is defined as D x y equals inf l gamma gamma a continuously differentiable curve joining x and y Display style d x y equals inf l gamma gamma text a continuously differentiable curve joining x text and y. Even though Riemannian manifolds are usually curved, there is still a notion of straight line on them. The geodesics. These are curves which locally join the points along shortest paths. Assuming the manifold is complete, any two points x and y can be connected with a geodesic whose length is d x y. Without completeness, this need not be true. For example, in the punctured plane R2, 0, the distance between the points minus 1, 0, and 1, 0 is 2, but there is no geodesic realizing this distance. Topic: <laughs> Properties. In Riemannian manifolds, the notions of geodesic completeness and metric space completeness are the same, that each implies the other is the content of the hoff rinau theorem. <laughs> Riemannian metrics Let M be a differentiable manifold of dimension N. A Riemannian metric on M is a family of positive definite inner products G P T P 
m times t p m r p element of m display style g underscore p colon t underscore p m times t underscore p m right arrow math b f r q quad p in m such that for every pair of differentiable vector fields x y on m p g p x p Y P Display style P Mapsto G underscore P X underscore P Y underscore P defines a smooth function MR. We can also regard a Riemannian metric G as a symmetric 0, 2, tensor field that is positive definite at every point, i.e. G, X, X, P, equals G, P, X, P, X, P, greater than 0 whenever X, P does not equal 0. In a system of local coordinates on the manifold M given by N real valued functions x1, x2, xn, the vector fields x1, x n display style left frac partial partial x caret 1 dotsc frac partial partial x caret n right give a basis of tangent vectors at each point of m relative to this coordinate system the components of the metric tensor are at each point p g i j P equals G P X I P X J P Display style G underscore I J underscore P equals G underscore P left left frac partial partial x carrot I right underscore P left frac partial partial x carrot J right underscore P right Equivalently, the metric tensor can be written in terms of the dual basis DX one dxn of the cotangent bundle as g equals i j g i j d x i d x j Display style G equals sum underscore I, J, G underscore I, J, Mathram, D, X carrot I, O times Mathram, D, X carrot J. The differentiable manifold M endowed with this metric G is a Riemannian manifold, denoted M, G. Examples with X I display style frac partial partial X carrot I identified with A equals zero one zero the standard metric over an open subset U R N is defined by G P C A N T P U times T P 
U R I A I X I J B J X J I A I B I Display style G underscore P carrot mathram can colon T underscore P U times T underscore P U long right arrow Math BF R Q quad left sum underscore I A underscore I frac partial partial X carrot I sum underscore J B underscore J frac partial partial X carrot J right long Mapsto, sum underscore I, A underscore I, B underscore I. Then G is a Riemannian metric, and G I J C A N equals E I E J equals Delta I J Display style G underscore I J carrot mathram can equals Langle E underscore I E underscore J Wrangle equals Delta underscore I J Equipped with this metric, Rn is called Euclidean space of dimension n and Gijkin is called the canonical Euclidean metric. Let M G be a Riemannian manifold and N M be a submanifold of M. Then the restriction of G to vectors tangent along N defines a Riemannian metric over N. More generally, let F Minnesota N N plus K be an immersion. Then, if n has a Riemannian metric, f induces a Riemannian metric on m via pullback. G p m t p m times t p m r Display style G underscore P carrot M colon T underscore P M times T underscore P M long right arrow Math BF R U V G P M U V equals G F P N D F P U D F P V Display style U V long mapsto G underscore P carrot M U V equals G underscore F P carrot N D F underscore P U D F underscore P V This is then a metric, the positive definiteness follows on the injectivity of the differential of an immersion, let M G M be a Riemannian manifold, H, Minnesota plus K N K be a differentiable map and Q element of N be a regular value of H, the differential D H P is surjective for all P element of H minus 1, Q. Then H minus 1, Q, M is a submanifold of M of dimension N. Thus H minus 1, Q, carries the Riemannian metric induced by inclusion. In particular, consider the following map H R N R 
x 1 x n i equals 1 n x i 2 minus 1 Display style H colon Math BF R carrot N long right arrow Math BF R Q quad X carrot one D O T S C X carrot N long mapsto sum underscore I equals one carrot N X carrot I carrot two minus one Then zero is a regular value of H and H Minus one zero equals x element of R N I equals one N x I two equals one equals S N minus one Display style H carrot minus one zero equals left x in Math BF R carrot N left Bert sum underscore I equals one carrot N x carrot I carrot two equals one right right equals Math BF S carrot N one is the unit sphere S N minus one R N. The metric induced from Rn on Sn1 is called the canonical metric of Sn1. Let M1 and M2 be two Riemannian manifolds and consider the Cartesian product M1 times M2 with the product structure. Furthermore, let π1, m1 times m2, m1 and π2, m1 times m2, m2 be the natural projections. For P, Q element of M1 times M2, a Riemannian metric on M1 times M2 can be introduced as follows G P Q M1 times M2 T P Q M one times M two times T P Q M one times M two R Display style G underscore P Q carrot M underscore one times M underscore two colon T underscore P Q M underscore one times M underscore two times T underscore P Q M underscore one times M underscore two long right arrow Math BF R U V G P M one T P Q Pi one U T P Q Pi one B Plus G Q M two T P Q Pi two U T P 
Q Pi two B Display style U V long maps to G underscore P carrot M underscore one T underscore P Q Pi underscore one U T underscore P Q Pi underscore one B plus G underscore Q carrot M underscore two T underscore P Q Pi underscore two U T underscore P Q Pi underscore two B The identification T P Q M one times M two T P M one T Q M two Display style T underscore P Q M underscore one times M underscore two Kong T underscore P M underscore one O plus T underscore Q M underscore two allows us to conclude that this defines a metric on the product space the torus s1 times times s1 equals tennessee possesses for example a riemannian structure obtained by choosing the induced riemannian metric from r2 on the circle s1 r2 and then taking the product metric the torus Tennessee endowed with this metric is called the flat torus. Let G0, G1 be two metrics on M then G tilde equals lambda G0 plus 1 minus lambda G one Lambda element of zero one Display style tilde G equals Lambda G underscore zero plus one Lambda G underscore one Q quad Lambda in zero one is also a metric on M. Topic: The pullback metric. If f m n is a differentiable map and n g n a Riemannian manifold, then the pullback of g n along f is a quadratic form on the tangent space of m. The pullback is the quadratic form f g n on trademark defined for v w element of T p m by f. G N V W equals G N D F V D F W Display style F carrot, asterisk, G carrot, N, V, W equals G carrot, N, D F, V, D F, W, where D F V is the push forward of V by F. The quadratic form FGN is in general only a semi-definite form because D F can have a kernel. If f is a diffeomorphism, or more generally an immersion, then it defines a Riemannian metric on M, the pullback metric. In particular, every embedded smooth submanifold inherits a metric from being embedded in a Riemannian manifold, and every covering space inherits a metric from covering a Riemannian manifold. Topic: Existence of a metric. 
Every paracompact differentiable manifold admits a Riemannian metric. Topic: <inaudible> Isometries. Let M, G M, and N, G N be two Riemannian manifolds, and F, M N be a diffeomorphism. Then F is called an isometry if G M equals F G N display style G caret M equals F caret asterisk G caret N or pointwise G P M U B equals G F P N D F U D F B P element of M U B element of T P M display style G underscore P carrot M U B equals G underscore F P carrot N D F U D F B Q quad for all P in M for all U B in T underscore P M Moreover, a differentiable mapping F, M N is called a local isometry at P element of M if there is a neighborhood U M, P element of U, such that F, U F, U, is a diffeomorphism satisfying the previous relation. Topic. Riemannian manifolds as metric spaces A connected Riemannian manifold carries the structure of a metric space whose distance function is the arc length of a minimizing geodesic. Moreover, this metric space's natural topology agrees with the manifold's topology, specifically, let M G be a connected Riemannian manifold. Let C, A, B, M be a parametrized curve in M, which is differentiable with velocity vector C. The length of C is defined as L A B C equals A B G C T C T D T equals A B C T D T Display style L underscore a carrot B C equals int underscore a carrot B S Q R T G C T C T Mathram D T equals int underscore a carrot B C T Mathram D T By change of variables, the arc length is independent of the chosen parametrization. In particular, a curve A, B, M can be parametrized by its arc length. A curve is parametrized by arc length if and only if C T equals 1 for all T element of A, B. The distance function D, M times M 0, infinity is defined by D P Q equals INF L gamma 
Display style D P Q equals INFL gamma where the infimum extends over all differentiable curves gamma beginning at p element of m and ending at q element of m. This function d satisfies the properties of a distance function for a metric space. The only property which is not completely straightforward is to show that d p q. Topic zero implies that p q. For this property, one can use a normal coordinate system, which also allows one to show that the topology induced by d is the same as the original topology on m. Topic diameter. The diameter of a Riemannian manifold M is defined by D I A M M equals sub P Q element of M D P Q element of R zero plus infinity. Display style mathrm diam m equals sub underscore p q in m d p q in math b f r underscore g e q zero cup plus inf t the diameter is invariant under global isometries. Furthermore, the Heine-Borel property holds for finite dimensional Riemannian manifolds. M is compact if and only if it is complete and has finite diameter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geodesic completeness. A Riemannian manifold M is geodesically complete if for all p in M, the exponential map EXPP is defined for all v element of t p M, i.e. if any geodesic gamma t starting from p is defined for all values of the parameter t element of R. The hoff rinal theorem asserts that M is geodesically complete if and only if it is complete as a metric space. If M is complete, then M is non-extendable in the sense that it is not isometric to an open proper submanifold of any other Riemannian manifold. The converse is not true, however, there exist non-extendable manifolds which are not complete. See also Riemannian geometry Finsler manifold Sub-Riemannian manifold Pseudo-Riemannian manifold Metric tensor Hermitian manifold Space mathematics Wave maps equation <laughs>